Elegy is episode 20 of the American television anthology series The Twilight Zone. It originally aired on February 19, 1960 on CBS. Topic. Opening narration Topic. Plot Running out of fuel, astronauts Myers, Weber, and Kirby land their spaceship on a remote asteroid in 2186. They find the place quite Earth-like although 655 million miles away from Earth, but more closely resembling Earth of a past era. The first place they come to is a farm where they find a farmer gazing off into the distance. They acknowledge him and try to get his attention, but realize he is nothing more than a statue. The astronauts find a town, and splitting up, explore it. They are disturbed by their surroundings as they find everything eerily motionless, populated by more of the apparently frozen human beings. Converging on the center of a town, they are startled to find someone who does move. Jeremy Wickwire. Who tells them that he's the caretaker. Amiably, Wickwire explains to the astronauts that the asteroid they have landed on is an exclusive cemetery called. Happy Glades, founded in 1973, where rich people can live out their life's greatest fantasy after they die. He is told by the men that a nuclear war destroyed much of the Earth in 1985, and that it has taken over 200 years to recover from it. Wickwire serves the three men wine, toasts their safe arrival, and asks each man what his greatest wish is. All three reply that they wish they were on their ship heading for home. Suddenly, they realize that their drinks have been poisoned with what Wickwire refers to as eternifying fluid. As the men are dying, Wickwire, who is actually a robot that has been deactivated for about 200 years, and only turns on for occasional duties such as cleaning, dusting, and maintenance on a few clocks apologizes to them, and explains that it is his job to ensure peace and tranquility at Happy Glades. He emphasizes that they are men, and while there are men, there can be no peace. Later, Wickwire reinstalls the embalmed astronauts in their ship, posing them at their posts as if they were on their way home, just as they had wished. In the final scene, Wickwire is shown entering one of the stately buildings of Happy Glades, presumably shutting down again, probably forever, possibly until additional astronauts unwittingly land on Happy Glades. Topic. Closing narration Topic. Cast Cecil Kellaway as Jeremy Wickwire Jeff Morrow as Kurt Myers Kevin Hagan as Captain James Weber Don Dubins as Peter Kirby Topic. Origin This episode is based on the short story, Elegy, by Charles Beaumont. The story was first published in Imagination, February, 1953. Topic. Episode notes Inside the spaceship, equipment, originally constructed for the film Forbidden Planet was reused for this episode, and shows up in a number of other Twilight Zone episodes. 
The sound effects heard inside the spaceship will be used again six years later as some of the sounds on the bridge of the starship USS Enterprise, in the original Star Trek television series. The set of the room of the frozen mayor addressing the crowd had been used in the previous episodes. The 16mm Shrine, as part of Barbara Trenton's home, as well as in The Purple Testament as the lobby of an army hospital. It would be used again as a hallway of a college campus in Long Live Walter Jameson. Topic. Further reading DeVoe, Bill. 2008. Trivia from the Twilight Zone. Albany, Georgia, Bear Manor Media. ISBN 978-1-59393-136-0 Grams, Martin. 2008. The Twilight Zone, Unlocking the Door to a Television Classic. Churchville, M.D., O.T.R. Publishing. ISBN 978-0-9703310-9-0 Zykre, Mark Scott 2018. The Twilight Zone Companion 3rd Expanded and Revised ed. Silman James Press ISBN 978-1935247173 Topic External Links Elegy on IMDb Text of original short story